B-roll is extra footage we grab of whatever story we're talking about to help visually demonstrate it sort of as an example while you're hearing the reporter or the interviewee talking about the subject of the story. All right, so today we're going to be looking around, trying to get some real estate footage, uh, some for sale signs. Oh, and this, this is my roommate, Kevin. Uh, that was probably like the worst shot of my face ever. Good. Keep you, keep you humble. Oh boy. Yeah, we think it's gonna be about foreclosures, uh, just because that's what we're assuming because of Corona. Uh, we're assuming that a lot of people have had their houses foreclosed on and we're looking at the Zillow app and we had to put some filters on to get rid of them because all we were finding hey was, there's another sign <laughs> there it is do people ever give you trouble um not usually for stuff like this people might come out and ask me like you know what's the story or what's going on but not usually trouble but I'm trying to not get anything too specific because uh, I'm not quite sure yet what type of story we're doing. So it could be a positive story, could be a negative story. And I don't want to get footage of a specific person's phone number, like on this sign, you know, without knowing what the story is. When you first set up, you wanna set your camera on a tripod and get some nice steady locked off shots. You wanna go wides, mediums, tights. You wanna get some close-ups and a few cutaways. And after you've gotten, I would say, maybe 10 traditional shots of whatever it is you're trying to film, maybe it's a restaurant and you're getting different shots of them cooking food, or maybe it's a uh, building and it's people filing paperwork and you wanna get some shots of people submitting their paperwork. Either way, after you've done the conventional by the books shooting, the, the bread and butter, basic no frills B-roll that you wanna shoot, you then wanna take your camera off the tripod and get a little more creative with it. At least for me, that makes the job a lot more fun. Uh, I want to take my camera and go get right up in there and get some gnats. Take your camera close to your subjects. You wanna get down on the ground and be filming your, your camera from the ground's perspective. You wanna move your camera all over and you wanna do it relatively quick, kind of running all over the environment you're in, trying to get as many creative, interesting shots as you can think of. So, you see I took I take my glasses off when I'm looking through the viewfinder because I have transition lenses. If you make it look good in the darkness, it's probably going to be overblown. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah. built-in ND filters for my eyes. I'm actually too far back. Hey there. Uh, we're just doing a story about real estate. And this is the, the biggest uh, sort of lesson that I feel like I'm, I'm always learning in doing this job is the world is held together by lots of people's rules that they are just enforcing basically for no reason, just for themselves. A lot of people think they know that things are laws or are rules for their companies. Uh, and some, some, some laws and some rules really are true, but a lot of them, people think, for example, that I need to get their permission to film them. Or that if they say, you don't have my permission to film me, that I can't film them. That's not true at all. If you're in a public area, or if I can visibly see you from a public area, I can film you all I want, and you can't do anything besides get out of that area uh, to stop me from filming you. Now, because I'm a human being with a soul, uh, if you ask me not to film you, I will probably not film you. Uh, but I'll, I'll do my best to not be a jerk to people who request that I not film them. And what this will do is when you're editing it, it'll be a lot easier for you to have a variety of shots that uh, look good and allow you to not kind of get boxed into a corner of having to cut from a medium shot to another medium shot of something kind of boring. Whereas if you're getting a variety of different types of shots, 
it helps give you freedom and flexibility when you're editing. And that's especially important, not just for creative satisfaction, but also for speed. Because the other part of doing news is you're having to do this really quick and you need to make sure that you're doing enough work ahead of time to not screw yourself over when it comes time when it becomes time to edit so you are saving yourself time in the future and if it's not you you're saving editors time either way you are saving uh, someone valuable time as the timeline is getting closer and closer to your deadline when your footage is going to air on national tv hey guys thank you very much for watching uh, a lot of the footage i used in this episode was b-roll from a special project uh, we made this past week uh, called a pay it forward where we basically teamed up with this restaurant called the range cafe and we had them prepare lots of meals and we took them and donated them to a bunch of nurses uh, that were working at a blood bank so i'm gonna end this section by uh, playing just the end of the little segment we made about that because i'm really proud of the work we did and i think right now it's important to kind of focus on that all right let's get this guy going thank you guys everything that you do for the public we know that you're exposed to a lot and it's our pleasure to provide a meal for you guys <laughs> it's a really nice little treat these workers don't just take blood or plasma donations they help New Mexicans help. The need is increasing, and so are people's concerns about donating safely. It, a lot of my job is keeping people's mind at ease as to that we're taking care of everything that we need to. Taking care of everything and each other. We saw it on so many levels today, whether it was customer after customer. Well, they all know we're in a tough situation, and they're all doing their best to help us all survive. Boxed lunch after boxed lunch. This is like the biggest cookie I've ever seen. <laughs> or donor after donor. It's important. I do it whenever I can. I guess you could say paying it forward is in our DNA. You know, teamwork and and togetherness is is a big part of of feeling safe. Tessa Mentis, KOB4.